He's a Herrick High School student who's focused on a little more than just the schoolwork. News 12 Long Island's Ken Grimball introduces us to a young man with quite the amazing eye. You can't get that camera away from Jorge Escoro. The 16-year-old enjoys taking creative photographs on the grounds of Clark Botanic Garden in Albertson, as well as any other place it catches his eyes. When the Herricks High School sophomore's aunt gave him a camera for his birthday, it was life-changing. I would always take her camera, and she didn't want me using her camera, so she got one for me. The young photographer has taken thousands of pictures, so many pictures that he's being featured in the winter solstice exhibit at Clark Botanic Garden in Albertson. Jorge takes pride in each shot. What I'm looking for is some a different angle, a different view of my of a picture I'm taking. I don't want the same, the same boring picture. A lot of people usually take just go over there, just take a simple shot. There's no doubt about it, Jorge Escoto is a very talented young man, and he says one of his favorite colors is yellow. Just like how bright it is, it's just, I just like it. Jorge was born in Mexico. He now lives with his aunt, who enjoys photography, by the way, and his uncle in Manhattan. I want him to really succeed at photography. The picture's not going to be there. You have to look for the picture. In Albertson, Ken Grimball, News 12. Long Island. Well, that's a cool picture. Jorge's photographs will be on display through January 25th. It's nice looking stuff. You have to look for the picture. Look for the picture. The picture's not there. Very interesting. <laughs> See, I just think it was there. I thought it was there. I just point and click. No, no I know. That's why I have to dig deeper. <laughs> All right, well, one day after the Jets gave Rex Ryan and John Idzik the heave-ho, the Giants did the exact opposite. They gave Tom Coughlin and GM Jerry Reese one more chance to turn things around. 